healing class tonight and the new one starts uh, next Thursday really excited about that this one went really well for those that don't know me I am Tracy Gorick I'm a healing coach energy healer spiritual mentor and we work on mindset all of that together gets you well and keeps you well and I uh, like to always say even if you get a diagnosis from a doctor and they give you medicine it might not stay away if you don't do all of the work we've got lots of work to do and that's uh, it's part of our plan here and, and, and when we do the work we come out so much stronger and able to do and handle everything when you do all that work so today I wanted to talk about to heal you have to do the work to heal the things that were not your fault so there's so many of us um, that had things that happened to us in from childhood on up that have affected us and it has affected our health because we carry it and we hold on to it and we beat ourselves up about it and we're angry and we're frustrated and we're depressed all those things are in our body just causing us issues and when we have traumas or certain things that happen they're also held in our bodies there's just so many things and the point is you have to work through um, the things that have happened to us that aren't our fault like it's not like we asked for it it's not like you know, people have done things to um, all of us that have caused us trouble. Hi. Hi, Sharon. How are you? Um, so the point is we all have stuff. We all have to go work through them and release them and release the anger and frustration and the trauma and the damage that was done. We have to do the work even though it was something that was done to us. And yeah, it stinks, and, and yeah, it's not fair, and yeah, it's frustrating. And But if you want to be well and healthy, you have to work through this and let go of what they did or what happened, right? Because if you don't, it's going to make you sick or sicker, and you're not going to get better. You're not going to function. But if you can, think of how strong you will be and where you will be at when you can get through those things. So it's very important to remember, yes. Things happen to everybody, and yes, you, the, when the one that had the stuff happen to, have to work through it and have to heal it, even though it wasn't your fault. And you, because you have to look at it, you don't have control. Yep, it's not fair, and yep, they're wrong, and yes, yes, yes. But you don't have control of them. So you have to work on you, and you have to heal and change all the things in you that were done to you. And that's the first part of healing, you know? You have to just go in and realize it's your responsibility, even though it's not your fault. But it's still your responsibility to clear and heal things that have happened to you. And that way you can live this beautiful, glorious life. Just remember that you have the control to do that. You might need to get help or, you know, do things. It's not easy, but you have that control to overcome it and have this beautiful, strong life. And imagine, like really, when you get through it and come out the other side of that, how awesome and strong you're gonna feel. So, that's what I've got for today, everybody. We'll go ahead and do the healing now. Um, so sit back and relax, and I'll walk you through a little meditation, and then I'll send the healing. Um, so just remember, um, yeah. That's what I've got. So sit back and relax, and it won't come to you unless you want it. So just if you want it, it'll come to you. If you don't, don't worry, it won't be forced on you. So sit back and relax. I want you to imagine the violet flame at your feet coming up and around and through your whole body. It's cleansing, clearing, purifying everything. Any negative thoughts that come up, just throw them in the violet flame. And then any anger, frustration from others coming at you, just throw that in the violet flame. And any anger, negative, and frustration, self-talk you have for yourself, throw that in the violet flame. And then anything from the consciousness, the fear, the anxiety, uh, the stress, the depression, the scared, just throw that in the violet flame. 
when you feel that you've cleared that all out, take that violet flame and send it back up to source to transmute it. And I'm going to set another little violet flame in front of you. As the healing comes through, a lot of times things will come up, that thoughts that you need to put in the violet flame, so just do that. And so we're going to go through and make sure we're relaxing our body. This is a good thing to do every day or several times a day because we tend to tense up and we don't realize it because it's just so common. Um, so start at your forehead. Just see if you're like, you know, holding up the stress and anxiety in there. Just relax it. We tend to hold it there. And then go down to your temples. See if you're holding anything there. And then your jaw. And then down into your throat. Just feel if there's any tightness, tenseness. And then your shoulders, we tend to carry a lot there and tense it up. So just kind of roll the shoulders back and forward and then shake your arms out to like release the tension there. Roll your wrists, wiggle your fingers. And then go down into your heart and just feel your heart and open it up. You want to open your heart up. You don't want it to be closed off. That's what's, it's closed off because of things that have happened to us in our past. But you want to open that heart up. And send love out to everybody, right? And then go down into your stomach. You're up in your lower stomach. And just kind of feel if there's any tenseness, pains in there. You need to relax and relax it. And then go down into your hips. Kind of relax your hips. And then your legs, your upper legs, your quads and your hamstrings. Just feel if there's any tenseness there. And then go down to your knees. See if there's any pain in there you want to send extra healing to. And then down to your lower legs, your shins and your um, calves. Just kind of relax those. Point and flex your uh, feet maybe. That helps you relax that or release the tension. And then make circular motions with your feet. And relax your feet, wiggle your toes. And now just relax and I'll begin sending the healing energy to you. <clears throat> Okay guys, that's what I have for today. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for being here. If you know anybody that can use these healings, please share it with them. I'm trying to help as many people as I can uh, get away from the stress and anxiety that's going on around now. Um, also, I'm starting the group another group healing program. The first one went so good, I'm going to do another one. It might be the last month one I do because um, we just were getting comfortable with each other. So I thought I'd do one more and then in July I might start a three month one. Um, because it's a group of us working together and you really need to be comfortable and relaxed to really feel the healing. Um, so if you want to join that, let me know. It's it's a really good chance to work and get the a good amount of work with me because you can contact me in that month that you're working with me anytime and I can send you healing energy just like this one to kind of bring you down when you're having a bad day because as we're working and doing the healing work and you're doing all the things that I ask you to do things come up and you need to help clear that out so we do healings every week you get one 30 minute session by yourself and you get two spiritual messages and much more I will have that uh, posted on there if you guys want to um, take a look and if you have any questions on it let me know that starts next Thursday um, so go do something you love something will lift you up something that brings you joy do at least one thing you guys got to do this stuff you've got to make the effort live intentionally to get what you want out of life go do some self-care drink tea 
uh, Epsom salt bath, pray, meditate, whatever it is that's self-care for you, do at least one. And then go do something kind for somebody else. Lift them up and in turn you lift yourself up. In fact, it probably works, helps you more than them, but you're also helping them. And it just feels so good when you lift somebody up. And then write 10 things you're grateful for. You do these things, it's going to make a difference in your life, I promise. This is the beginning things you can do on your own to help yourself change your life and heal. So, go do it, guys. Have a great day. I love you all. Any questions on anything, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. So, have a great day. I will be here tomorrow. Bye, guys.